Welcome to the 2400 Block Podcast with your host, Johnny Rube. Podcast spin, intelligence binge watch. Johnny Rubes with the wisdom, never botch. Dark thoughts, ventilate, handy great knowledge. 2400 crew, like Griffin College. Clever minds unite, discussions land tight. Sync up thoughts, intertwine, never bark, trite. Mics up, lights down, we the crew of pounds. Johnny Rubes, the friend Johnny Rubes. Hello everyone, welcome to a- another unofficial podcast episode of the 2400 Block here exclusively on Facebook. So many of you are probably just seeing this right now, whoever is on my uh, Facebook profile. I'm not talking about my a uh, public Facebook profile. I'm talking about my profile that's geared towards more of my close family and friends. For those that are just tuning in, thank you very much. It has been uh, quite the week last week here in Chicago, in this uh, Chicago metropolitan area. They also call it Chicagoland. And there was the convention. Uh, so much was going on over there. I did not even had the chance to to step a foot into the city and seeing everything unfold. I'd rather be away from the noise and just uh, watch from a distance. And that would be on my television. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to election day coming in November. And that's not, uh, that's not far away from now. Uh, The days are going by so fast. Next thing you know, it's already Halloween. I mean, they are stocking Halloween products right now in the store as well as Christmas. So that just comes to show that time is is passing by really quick and we'll be celebrating Christmas and Happy New Year 2025 before you know it. So, uh yeah. Um yes, regarding the uh convention, I'm sure uh for those that were there uh, that were from another state or even here uh, in the area. I hope you you guys had a great time and that you guys are looking forward to choosing your uh, presidential candidate. And uh, I just want to talk about that right now, okay? I'm, I'm very non-judgmental. It's a no-judgment zone here in the 2400 Block Podcast. We all have our our feelings, we all have our opinions, and I just want to just remain right in the middle, you know. Uh, I would rather remain, uh, what you call it, there's there's left wing, there's right wing. I just pretty much stay right in the middle, uh, just want to be balanced uh, pretty much. As we all, as we are all aware, there is so much going on in this country right now, uh, whether you like it or you don't. I mean, change is just inevitable. It just happens to to all of us, a uh, majority of Americans, whether you're from the lower class, the middle class, or even on the upper tier. Uh, things are just happening at a constant. It's dynamic. Things are just going on left and right uh, from this present administration. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys... Uh, like what's going on or not, I wish you guys um, can uh, share your opinion. I mean, feel free to. This is the unofficial podcast here, guys. Unofficial podcast episode, I mean. And, yeah, I, I'm just here just wanting to know everyone's opinions to see what you guys think right now, who is the suitable presidential candidate right now, what you guys think. Right now, I am just here uh, just wanted to talk to you guys uh first of all i'm messing up my settings here (laughs) i definitely need to change the settings give me a second here this is okay i just want to make sure that i'll be seen because when i'm doing the settings here on facebook it's showing as just me looking at myself me talking to myself which i still am but i want to gain everybody's attention and okay let me just uh backtrack here guys i was just talking about the convention that happened last week in chicago it was a success Uh, many many of those in attendance enjoyed uh, being there supporting their candidates 
for uh, president and vice president. And I hope you are looking forward to election day, which is just right around the corner. Like I said, Halloween is, is coming up. And next thing you know, we'll be celebrating November, you know, uh, Thanksgiving, December, Christmas, January, Happy New Year 2025. I mean, just like that, things are just going blazing fast. And I just want to stress something out, guys. I just want to be honest with this, all right? Things are happening in this country. So much is going on right now as we speak, whether it's to our liking or not. It's just happening. Let me tell you this. Now, before you vote for your choice um, as uh, President of the United States, I want to ask you personally, right here on this podcast, on the 2400 Block podcast here, as I'm talking to you in this unofficial podcast episode, do you person watching this video right now, like the things that's happening in our country right now? Do you think it's a great change or do you think we just backpedaled and we just somehow just lost the edge? I don't know. What do you guys think? Feel free to voice your concerns, whether it's live right now or you just want to post a comment, feel free to. It's a no judgment zone. I have friends that are on the left side. I have friends on the right side. I mean, if you are a a person on Facebook that have friends from the left and the right, more power to you. You know what I mean. You definitely know what I mean. And it's all about keeping things balanced. That's where I am right now. So I just want to just say that right now, there's just so much uh, going on. In our country, inflation is spiking up, as we already know, as we're already aware. And both candidates say that um, they'll do their best to keep inflation down. Now, I can't say which one is the most convincing, but hopefully, like, like in the words of the Indiana Jones movie. You ever watch that Indiana Jones movie, you know, The Last Crusade? And this old guy, he's like dressed up as a knight, uh, the one that's protecting the Holy Grail. You know, he's like a really wise old man. And he says to Indy, you must choose, but choose wisely. So that's what's happening right now. We're facing uh, uh, these pivotal times right now in this country at this particular moment in time. Many generations facing this latest uh, challenge. So keep that in mind. You must choose, but choose wisely. Choose wisely. Yes, on election day, please do so. I hope you make the right choice. The one that stands, the one that you think stands up for you. Now, they won't stand up for us personally, but as a collective, they can stand up for us. So whoever you're voting for, uh, be sure to, you know, look at it very closely. Look at these candidates very closely. See which one convinces you. I know both of them were, were trying to do some sort of marketing campaign there with these conventions. So what do you think? Do you think that they delivered on that night when they said that they, they are the vice presidential candidate and the presidential candidate? Did you think that what they set up there convinced you enough so good enough that you'll be voting for them on election day what do you think do you think that they'll they'll say their promises do you, i mean do you think that they will fulfill their promises do you think so because i know everybody just says something whether you're a salesman whether you're a school teacher whether you're a lawyer whether you're a doctor you're going to believe whoever it is that's feeding you this information so of course on, in this instance it's the presidential candidate so whatever he or she is saying do you believe in those candidates I'm, I'm talking about the presidential and the vice presidential roles here so do you think that they'll be good enough to keep this country going with this change that's going on right now and i say to you again do you like this change do you want it 
how bad do you want this country to change? Mm. Yeah, I mean, so much to think about. Election day is just right around the corner. It is August 26th right now. And yeah, it, next thing you know, my birthday will pass and election day is here. So yeah, it's, it's, it's going to go so fast. I tell you right now, it will. And uh, yeah, and then we'll figure out who the next president will be come election day. And I, I'll tell you right now, it, it, it's going to be at a dead heat right now. This country is like 50-50. I mean, it's so, it's so bad enough that it's divided like that. You know, not, not everyone's on the same page. Everyone w- wants what's best for the country. And then there are those that don't even like this country, and they're, they're, they're here. They're here. They're protesting. They're, they're making themselves known. You know, they, they would burn our flag, and they would just continue voicing up their cause. And I'm sure they had their own sufficient reason to. I mean, that's a way to uh, gain somebody's attention. I mean, especially uh, today where we have social media. I mean, it, social media can influence anybody out there. I mean, back then we relied on the mainstream media to do uh, all the reporting. Now we are the ones doing the reporting. You know, just the average person out there witnessing something happening versus what a news journalist in the mainstream media is saying. But there's just so much that's going on right now. You can hear all these information. I can tell you right now, guys, just, just be observant. We know that we're living in a time right now where everyone is just claiming that they're right. We're not even sure if they're even giving the facts or not. So we, we're we stuck in that situation right now. Uh, at this present point in time, uh, I just want to say just be careful, be observant. If you want to gather all the information, feel free to. But when it comes to judging people, just... Just be, just be calm. Just be rational. Just gather the facts in the best, uh, best way possible without having to go out there, make some insinuating remarks, or uh, try to say any hurtful comments. Because we don't need that right now. I mean, we're this is a very, very, very painful time we're living in. Okay, I'm gonna take these quotes right now from the movie Remember the Titans. You remember that movie? That starred Denzel Washington as uh, head coach Herman Boone. Man, there were some wonderful quotes in that movie. Okay, so let me go over some here. I'm just going to mention maybe two quotes from the movie, and they're they're very powerful in in such a way. I even posted it on my Facebook profile here. So I'm just going to read it to you now uh, as it states uh, from the movie, if, if you watched the movie and if you've heard his speech the the Herman Boone character. This is what he said. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna hit him hard right here. Here we go. If you have an enemy, then learn and know your enemy. Just don't just be mad at him or her. Yeah, he's right. You gotta learn. You gotta educate yourself. Yeah, they may be your enemy, but just don't jump in and force yourself upon that person. I mean, we're living these times right now where someone wants to be the center of attention, even for 15 minutes. Yeah, we're living these kind of times where someone would just love to cause something. But going back to this quote, again, if you have an enemy, then learn and know your enemy. Don't just be mad at him or her. So, guys, let's let's learn that. Let's learn that Um, whether you're here in the United States like I am right now, where the weather is like scorching hot right now at 95 degrees, where I am here in the Chicago metropolitan area, or, it, by the way, the, the, the heat index is going to be about 110 and over. So we have an excessive heat index warning right now. No, excessive heat warning. So it's, it's even feeling kind of hot in this room. I can even sense the heat that's building up here, even though I have the the AC on. Uh, yeah, but going back to this right now, if you guys are either in the United States or if you're somewhere halfway around the world where you're caught up in a battle between one nation and another, man, 
these are tough times we're living in, folks, and we are not even in control. Whoever's pressing the buttons, whoever's pushing the envelope here, uh, they're the ones that pretty much initiate the action. But for us, the majority coming folks, whether here or, or somewhere else, remember, if you have an enemy, then learn to know your enemy. Don't just be mad at him or her. Could be your neighbor, could be a fellow politician, could be a fellow uh, doctor, lawyer, you name it. Uh, you just got to be learn how to be obedient and learn how to be civil. Okay, here's another one here that I'm going to take from the movie. You listen and take a lesson from the dead. If we don't come together right now on this hallowed ground, we too will be destroyed, just like they were. I don't care if you like each other or not, but you will respect each other. Okay, we're, 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 they're talking about hallowed ground, and you're probably wondering what that reference uh, pertains to. Well, the hallowed ground is where the Civil War soldiers, uh, the, the, the Confederates and, and the Union soldiers, uh, they all uh, died on these sacred grounds. So he was referring to that uh, when he and the football team that he spearheads uh, went over there as they are walking around and he tells them this story. And the last sentence, my goodness, it's so powerful. Look at this. I don't care if you like each other or not, but you will respect each other. Yes, we're living these times right now, very heated. The collective uh, you know, majority of groups out there that represents a certain faction Anything to keep the competition of human rights going here, folks. This absolute uh, competition going on. I think human rights itself is a propaganda. Everyone's like competing for it. And it's just a way for us to just uh, be, be involved somehow, even in, a, in an unstable environment. That's what I think it is. I mean, that's just my honest opinion. What? Human rights is coming from just one individual here. I'm not sure if many of you uh, in the majority uh, <laughs> agree with me, but that's just my only take. You know, I, that's just the way I feel. Uh, talking to you right now in the most uh, robust form, but yeah, that's what I think. I think uh, we must respect each other, regardless of the differences we have. And who knows, we might even have you know, similarities and commonalities more than we ever known. And we never got to know because we're just going anti on each other. Uh, did you know that my skin color, my personality, even my bald head comprises of what I am? But you see, these major attributes that I have is like an issue to people because people, no matter how you look at it, they can't see past that. They just can't. And it's been going on for centuries now. People just can't look past of, on what made you, <laughs> on what made us, on what made me. People just can't see past that. People can't say, wow, John, you're amazing. And they can't, you don't even have to reference skin color, any one of that, any of those. And then it becomes an issue to everyone just because, you know, I'm Filipino, may not you know, ring a bell with someone else. See, just like that. It's crazy. It's crazy how we, you know, throw labels at each other like that. But just like this movie said, I don't care if you like each other or not, but you will respect each other. I wish everyone respect each other in society. No matter how different we may be or unique, I wish that respect, respectability is there. And hopefully we'll all learn this in the not too far future we're, we're sort of living the earliest stages of the future right now folks so hopefully as as, as decades go by we'll we'll learn from all this let's hope let, let's hope i'm i'm remaining optimistic about this about this future that we're gonna have yeah there's uh artificial intelligence but i hope i hope that it's gonna benefit us more than it's gonna go against us i hope it don't uh that that would be a very scary situation It'll end up like the Terminator movie. I mean, who knows? I'm going way too far now off the deep end here. Uh, for those that have been uh, interacting with me in real life, and I've given to you guys the sticker. So if any of you guys uh, were given the sticker, consider yourself 
appreciated and loved. And uh, yeah, I'm just spreading word about my podcast and whoever I come across with in a in a really pleasant conversation and we're vibing. Yes, this this is definitely uh, my special gift to you. And it's not just a sticker, but you know what my podcast is, and you can just type whatever it is that's shown around here and go on YouTube to find me. And uh, for those who wish to send me an email, here it is. I have not even given my email publicly, but it is there on the YouTube page if you just click on email. But here it is anyway. It's T-W-E-N-T-Y 400-B-L-O-C-K at gmail.com. Wait a minute. Not Gmail. I'm sorry. Erase the Gmail part out. See, this is the part where I mess up. I always keep saying Gmail, that's why. But it's not Gmail. So it's mail.com. I'll say it again. T-W-E-N-T-Y 400 at mail.com. It doesn't get any simple than that. So if you guys want to just give me any feedback, uh, to that email, feel free to, or if you just want to comment right below this uh, Facebook live streaming post on my profile, feel free to. Uh, I'll be honored enough to interact with you guys uh, to the best of my ability. And as a matter of fact, I have not even checked who may be looking into my post, but um, let me let me double check. This is the cool part about being live is having a look in real time. It's okay. So there's maybe one, you know, two individuals watching me right now. By the way, thank you guys for watching me, whoever you are. Uh, that's very nice of you uh, for you guys to watch me. So here I am. It's Monday, August 26, 2024. It's scorching hot here in Chicagoland. Heat index are going to go at about 110 today. It's going to feel really hot out there. So if I start... Uh, Sitting in a vehicle that has like leather seats. Oh my goodness. That's going to be the most painful thing imaginable. Oh man. Woo. So, guys, thank you very much for hanging around. I appreciate you. It's good to be doing something like this in a while because uh, I really don't want to have any ring rust when it comes to my mic work. And I'm trying my very best to to give my best performance. You know, I'm not really there just yet when it comes to making the best podcast because I am like maybe intermediate right now. I'm like very judgmental on myself. I critique myself. I look back <laughs> and sometimes I, I literally cringe. So I'm in the intermediate mark right now. I think I fared better. Whoops. <laughs> I think I fared better than I did. Um, you know, way back in 2020 during the onset of the pandemic. That's when I did my first podcast. And oh my goodness, I was nervous. I mean, my stomach was like empty, hollow, you know, it was that bad. But I'm, but thank goodness I was able to get over it. I was able to listen to it, learn from it, uh, take a step back, try to approach it on, on a different plat, platform. Uh, and that's being here on, um, on video, this is a different thing compared to doing an audio thing. And just talking to you guys here on the camera is like a challenge. I mean, I have had some of my own insecurities just being in front of something, whether it's people even being in front of this camera right now with this light bulb that's just facing me right now. So I just take it all in stride now. I don't, uh, I'm not nervous as much anymore. So it's, it's, a, it's a gradual progress, and I'm glad you guys are, are witnessing that. You get to see me as I grow and develop as a, as a podcaster. But not just that, uh, being an, a, a loving human being who just appreciates anybody and anything. So uh, that's what I want to be. I've come a long way. Before I did podcasting, I, I did do emceeing. That was fun to do, going to raves and parties along with the, the team that I was with. Phenomenal talents. They were into mixing music. They were into the lighting aspect. And as for me, I'm just the guy in the mic doing my thing. 
talking to people, making the night go well. And I wish I have had the chance to look back at some of these memories as they are on VHS. And these tapes are like back home with my parents. And I'm not even sure if the conditions of these videos, which are now just about 30 years old or more, are still watchable or not. I can't really say. Uh, I know my brother or brothers uh, uh, watch stuff on VHS. I have not seen stuff on VHS in years, so hoping I can get some of that footage maybe when I see my folks uh, one of these days and try to extract that and, and try to show it to you uh, firsthand. But I'm I would love to I would love to uh, flash back at that because uh, those moments they built me up to this uh, this guy that you're seeing right now. Yeah, I take it on stride. I I'm, I feel blessed to have went through that and seeing where my talent was at that time, my talent level at that time. I was a beginner. I was not even nowhere near in intermediate yet. It feels weird being on the mic, especially on my first time. I was just looking at the spotlight and it just feels weird when you're looking at the spotlight and you don't see the audience. It's like a, a very nervous feeling just talking to people like that, you know, and not seeing anybody. You, I can even hear like a pin drop. It just feels very weird. But now I'm I'm overcome that part now and I'm here in the intermediate level and I'm just doing um podcasting, which is kind of fun. I always love being on a mic. I always love hearing myself. I always love to engage in conversation. I like to bring things up. But you know, there there was a bad point uh in my life where I wanted to be a part of the community and I was. I did my part. I played a role, I volunteered, did my thing. But when it comes to issues firsthand and they want to ask people questions in the audience, and I'm like one of those that wanted to ask questions, they would hear me, they would pass the mic to me, but they don't follow up with me. No, they they just seem to just forget me after that. And I, I felt uh, really down. I felt uh, disappointed. Imagine, just doing your thing and ending up like this. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. Okay, guys, that's too much of my rant right there. Time right now is about 15 minutes till 2 o'clock here. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to hang on, but I'm just glad I'm talking right now. It's, like, really awesome just going out here, venting my thoughts, starting off with politics. My goodness, that's always, like, the most uh, heated topic of them all is politics. And I understand that some of my friends don't want to talk about it because, I mean, literally in seconds, people would just blow up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not just not talking about just blowing up, but just people in general uh, just trying to hurt one another just because, you know, this person stands for this belief over the other. I don't know, man. And I'm just right here in the middle. Drinking beer. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, that controversial of a topic. But anyways, guys, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. As for me, I spent it with friends. I spent it with family. Kind of asked for a better day. Uh, but I wish it would would have been. Um, I wish it would have been cooler, just like it was a couple of days ago, or actually throughout the days uh, during last week. But then when it came to Friday, when it came to Saturday and Sunday, it started. You know, getting really hot, getting really uncomfortable, getting really sticky, uh, sweaty and sticky. Ah, man, imagine what we'd be facing right now uh, when fall comes around the corner. We'll be enjoying the wonderful weather, the cool winds, the fall leaves taking form. Oh, I can't wait. It's just about maybe a month from now. You know, today's August 26th. Maybe it's going to be different on September 26th. So that's what I think. So guys, mm, mm, sorry. <laughs> that's how it is when you get old. You know, you feel kind of achy here and there, and sometimes you can hear a little bit of a crack. But today, no, it's just me just, you know, feeling the twitches from within, but it's not making any noises. But that's how it is when you're 
this old like I am. I'm, I'm 49. I'm about to turn 50 uh, come September 30th. And that's about 34 days from now. 33 or 34 days from now. I don't know my math too well. So I might be uh, jumping a little bit on my date. But yeah, you know what I mean anyway. So, so yeah, that's, I, I guess uh, this is going to be it for my podcast, uh, my unofficial podcast here. Thank you guys very much for hearing me out. Feel free to leave any comments, uh, and I'll be sure to answer right after this broadcast. And, or you can leave me something right now, uh, live, and I could just like uh, read it off. But, um, Wow, we're already on the tw- almost 23 minute, thir- oh, 33 minute mark. Wow, I didn't know I went over 30 minutes already. That's just how awesome it is just being on this podcast here and just talking to you guys. So, um, yeah, you guys, you know, keep up the good work and whatever you're doing. Just uh, relax, chill, don't stress yourself out, don't work too hard. And when it comes to, to stuff that you see on TV or or on social media or on radio guys it's necessary if you just take a step back if you're if you can just like listen and just hear the many things going on be of an open mind not too many people these days are filled with an open mind Everyone wants to topple over the other. And that's the crazy thing we are right now. We're living this age where everyone's just doing that. I want you guys to filter that out. I want you guys to just maybe even just stay away for a while. Maybe go take that walk to the park. Go on a target run. Something. Something to keep yourself distracted. Something that can make you feel like you can achieve something uninterruptingly. Yeah. Go do that. Have some fun. Be a human being in these times. Because not too many people realize the fact that they are human beings. And um, before I leave here, I'm going to close this out. And I just want to give a special shout out to the many out there that have been tuning into my podcast, whether it's on audio or video and you're halfway around the world or you're in another country. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot just to know that someone is willing to hear me talk and reach out to you in the greatest of ways. I'm trying to use this platform for a much more positive uh, feel. And I, I just like to vibe with you guys in, in, in the most greatest way. I'm, I keep hitting this microphone too many times. Sorry about that if you just keep hearing the, the hits going. I'm not really used to having a microphone with a, with a crane like this. I always have a tendency to like hit it. So, okay, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. I know my girlfriend's going to be calling me real soon because uh, she wants to be picked up. So I'm just going to end this right here. And I thank you guys for watching another unofficial episode of the 2400 Block Podcast exclusively right here on my Facebook profile. You guys enjoy your day, and I look forward to talking to you guys again real soon. Until next time, all right? My take on the friends was that you can't really just say you have friends or you don't have friends. You can kind of quantify it. You may be on a scale of 1 to 10. So you have your 10s. Those are the guys you'd die for. You'd travel cross-country for if they're in jail or trouble or the hospital, their parents died, things like that. A lot of people don't have a 10. You know, a lot of people have one or two. You know, most people don't have more than that. But if you got a 10, you know it. Your next category down, your seven, eight, nines. Those are all the really good friends that you would still do all that stuff for, but somewhere there's a limit. You don't know where that limit is. It isn't explicitly cut off like, oh, you're in jail. You need 500 hours bail. Sure. Oh, you need $1,000 bail? Oh, well, screw that. You're, you're just going to have to spend the night. Yeah, there's no set limit, but somewhere there is a limit to that. And they're still really good friends. So, you know, you know everything about them. You know their kids, their wives, where they went to school. You know what things they like. You know, they might make it up to a 10 someday. They might not. But, you know, they're generally, they're really good friends. The people you hang out with often, maybe have uh, vacations with occasionally. You go out to the bar with them, so on. Your next group down, your four, five, and six, that's where all the rest of your friends come from. They're the people you know. You hang out. 
you're friendly with uh sometimes you go to maybe go to a ball game with them you might hang out with them at a bar once in a while go to a restaurant things like that friends from this group can move up often into your seven eight nines sometimes just from circumstances they can move down maybe they move away you don't see them as often you're not talking quite so much you know but they're still friends you know they're not gonna say gonna stab you in the back they're not necessarily gonna go bail you out of jail but you know they're friends your one twos and threes yeah those would be the people that you you meet and you know like say you're in a business group you meet once a week so you see them for that hour every week you know them talk to them you like them you you get to know a little bit about their family because you're just being nice and personal and stuff and uh but you're not really gonna go out and hang out with them. You're not gonna call them up on a Saturday. You know, hey Bob, you know you want to go watch the baseball game? It just doesn't really happen there. It may happen, and then someone from that group will jump up to the next group, and then you've got a better friend, and so on. So that groups are kind of interchangeable pretty often. And of course, zeros are well, they're not your friends. Stay away from zeros. Thanks for checking out this episode of 2400 Block Podcast. Don't forget to follow and subscribe.